Uh, with this lightweight upper, I won from uh, SOB Tactical. It's basically a lightweight upper uh, built by Steve at Citizens Arms, okay? And uh, he's basically, he builds and tunes uh, rifles either from the ground up or he'll take something in, uh, like a rifle you have already, and you send it to him and he'll hook you up. Anyway, uh, again, I'm not paid by anybody or any of that shit. It's just, uh, these are the products that I'm using or that I have and that I like, etc., etc. So, so far, this hollow sun's been kind of iffy. I zeroed it originally at 50 yards, um, and it was pretty good. I took it out to 100 yard indoor range, and it ended up being like way off. And uh, so, trying to zero it in, and I got confused by the dials. I came, you know, like 30 minutes before the range closed, trying to rush through it, and just did a sloppy job. Should have brought it in closer and then uh, started from there to confirm it and then push it back out to 100. So that's what I'm doing today. I uh, try to reset the dials basically where you zero them out by going all the way to one direction then going all the way back count how many that is and go halfway through. So most likely this is probably really far off uh, but I've got a target there set up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get about 10 yards and put a three shot group in just to get it on paper and just make a big adjustment and then we'll come out here to just maybe 20 five yards uh, get it dialed in further and then progressively take it to 50 and then out to 100 so uh, hopefully I have enough ammo for that I think I brought enough but we'll see anyway let's check it out all right cool so I'm here about five ten yards something like that and uh, I'm just gonna put three shots on target I've got a black uh, target so I got some black masking tape it always helps keep your target clean while you're trying to zero uh, testing these Arteryx uh, knee pads. Uh, I've dislocated my knee before uh, trying to be on gravel going from prone to kneeling and stuff. So yeah, as I get older, you know, I gotta kind of watch myself because I'm not trying to pay for extra doctor visits. Uh, what I got today is just a uh, Wolf 62 grain hollow point. Uh, just gonna test with that. Let's take a look. All right, see, I'm aiming right here, and it's way up here. So, obviously, a giant difference in where it needs to be. Um, so, this is probably about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll say about eight inches down. One, two, three, four. So, eight down. I'm four over, so I'm going to make some big adjustments for that. All right, according to the cap, counterclockwise is up and right, so I'm going to go down. So I'm just going to go just a shit ton. I'm going to do, let's see where, it is, where it's at. I'm going to look at the, the logo here. All right, I'm going to do a full spin. See what that puts me so again I'm taking the cap and uh, you know what's the design on it and uh, taking that and basing it on that I'm turning it 360 degrees so it's almost horizontal there so let's see I'm gonna do a 180 versus a full-on out all right so I normally don't do a one shot Zeroing adjustment, but I could see where that one moved. It moved about this much. So I'm gonna have to make some giant adjustments and uh, to get that thing down. So I'm gonna do that off camera because who wants to watch that? All right, so one full revolution uh, took me about that far down. One half revolution took me about that far to the left. So I went ahead and turned the sucker. I uh, went four complete revolutions. Uh, to clockwise to move it down and then I went uh, another half revolution to bring it left. It's still gonna be it's still gonna be too far to the right but I kind of want to see how it's, it's moving. All right, let me get close to check it out. All right, so that really worked here. Uh, 
to go by revolution. So I was like, well, this is going to be one full revolution. Multiply that times four. Got here, okay? So that's good. Uh, the half revolution only moved me this far, okay? So I moved with another one, so it's about right there. Kind of negligible difference. So I'm going to go ahead and assume if this is one revolution, I'm going to get a revolution and a half, and I should be centered up. Uh, and then this is good here for uh, elevation, even though it's too high for height of a bore. I'm just trying to get on paper here, around in here, and then I'm going to push this target out and then start dialing it in. All right. Made one full rotation on um, my elevation, which brought me down to right here. Okay. So we're looking at this right here. It's about the center of the bore right there, right? So that's my height over bore. Um, and then I did one and a half revolutions left. Okay, and that put me centered up right there. So now, uh, this is from previous person. I'm gonna tape these guys up, and then um, I'm gonna push this back a little further, start dialing in. All right, this is probably close to 25 yards, so we'll, uh, we'll put a shot in here. Let's check it out. All right, as we can see, that distance starts changing the trajectory, okay? So as I get further out, imagine this is gonna be further out. Um, so what I'm gonna do is make some adjustments to uh, get it back around here, okay? And uh, so I'll see probably at this distance, I would say maybe I'll try a half revolution and go with that half left revolution over to the right and then one up half revolution that way all right pretty close okay so just uh, right of center my elevation is good uh, I'm gonna take this target and I'm gonna push it out to about 50 yards and see where I can get it I feel like I pulled out a little bit. Do one more. All right, let's check it out. I guess I wasn't too far off with the two shots here. They're just stacked on each other. Pretty nice. Um, so again, I'm I'm looking to uh, get to here with being 50 yards. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and try to get into the bull, and then once I go to 100 yards, I'll have to make an elevation adjustment, right, because of that trajectory. I think uh, to be accurate at 100 yards, when you're zeroing at 50, basically you zero at 50, but you want 100 yards zero, you're going to want the round to impact like an inch high. So this is where I'm going to go for right here, and then it should be pretty close down when I get to 100. All right, I feel like it's a good shot. Let's check it out. All right, you see this? This is about halfway up from where I want and then halfway over from where I want. So I went 16 up and eight to the left. I'm gonna do another 16 up and then another eight to the left. Should be right here. Let me tell you a little interesting story, which is kind of weird, okay? So I made those adjustments, which put me here somewhere. And then I said, okay, well, that was halfway where, to where I wanted to be. We we're gonna double it, okay? And then it should put me here. For some reason, when I doubled it, it went to here. So I'm not sure if this is just a bad shot of mine, which I think that's just what it was. Uh, so what I did is I fired a second shot and yeah I'm just not firing good shots and so I reversed it so I went back down 16 and back over 8 to the right and then I've got these three vertical shots here uh, so they're pretty good not the tightest group 
I mean, at 50, these should all be like within this this thing right here. Especially this uh, upper is definitely capable of it. Um, so anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to patch these up, and I'm going to send this bad boy uh, all the way down to uh, 100 yards and see uh, what I can get there. But pretty close. I mean, 50 yards here. Um, if you triangulate, I mean, it's just it's just a little bit off center. So I'm sure it'll be about an inch off at 100 uh, to the left. But let's check it out. Alrighty, so these are the uh, the money shots where they count when you want to get down close to your final uh, your distance, 50 yards. You want to go ahead and have pretty dialed in just in case you have to um, bail out or that's as far as you can get. Drive the shoulder forward, pull it in tight. So basically, when I'm resting, it's sitting on the target. Felt pretty good. Got a few rounds left. Right there. Hit that. So I mean, it's on a 50. So let's check it out what it is at 100. All right, those are my shots at a uh, at 100. It's about an inch and a half MOA. Not bad. With the triangulation, I'm gonna go maybe. Oh, man, I don't know if I want to go a whole inch. I do, I do one click, go a half inch, and then I'm going to go down two inches, so an inch and a half. So one click over and three clicks down. Actually, before I run down there, I think it's pretty close. I'm going to hit this 50-yard gong, and then I've got a 100-yard uh, gong. It's a little bit smaller. Let's see if I can hit this. Okay. Alright, gotta ignore these and this one because they're old. I've got to take those up. Uh, but here's my group here. Um, I feel like I had a couple of flyers there. And uh, so I think it's pretty good. I might just um, go up a half click. Uh, go up one click, be a half inch, and then call it a day. Um, let me see, I'm gonna try and. Hit that again and see where it, where it lands. All right, made my adjustments. Uh, one up and one to the left. Uh, I feel like it's pretty close. Gonna do uh, another group to that green dot. And see, there we go, two shots. So. All right, I changed my mind. I gotta be thorough about this if I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go ahead and put three more shots in that center group, and then uh, that'll be my final group if everything's hunky dory. All right, here we go. All righty, let's go check it out. Okay, I think my. Uh, my elevation is great. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back more. One more for the uh, 
the windage, I think that'll be pretty good. And I've, then I've got uh, that Coleman set up, and then that little green guy. thing pulled left on that one all right pulled left on that one I'm shooting a little too early I'm trying to time it as I sway it I break the shot Just trying to get that sway so you want to time it. Shouldn't surprise you, you should know when you want to shoot the shot. So here's that 50 yard gong. Got two shots, let's do a quick hammer pair, okay? Shoot, ready? Oh. Alright, there we go. Alright, here we have our KO'd butane. Still got stuff coming out of it. Okay. Oof. All right. It's out. Both ends. Uh, get that poured out a little bit. And so that one, I just clipped that one. Uh -oh. And my sway. But it's a hit either way.